All right, let's make a level. I kind of don't want to, but it's been a while since I made a level. Let's actually check. June, so two months ago. Wow, in one year, I made three levels. Because <laughs> this was literally basically one year ago. Yeah, I used to make a lot of levels. Okay, so I think we're going to do... I should probably start the timer. So our goal is, I don't know, four hours or so. I don't really have like a time limit. I just like to make levels fast because it's less editing for me. I had kind of an idea before I decided to make a level. I know it's going to be SMW because I like SMW. Uh, we're going to make this the... Is this the one that moves up and down? No, this is this is the good sky theme. The airship theme, though, is doo-doo because look. Look at the screen. Ready? It just moves up and down. And that is the most annoying thing in this. Why do you have to do this? So we're doing sky theme because it's the cooler one. Okay, so we're going to use the entire length because I do. I am a big fan of using the entire length. I actually don't know how hard I want this to be. Probably moderate difficulty. I want to see if I can use the entire bottom half. I'm going to do this for now because that means the screen won't scroll up so you can see everything. But I don't know if I'll actually do that. I'll just do this for now though. You can also use invisible blocks, but just to demonstrate, you can see the scroll. The screen doesn't scroll up past this point. I should have made it one lower, but whatever. Yeah, I'll just do this for now. Oh yeah, save as. Gotta make sure you use save. For now, I'll just leave it pit. I don't know if it's gonna be pit. The difference between pit and passive is... Don't worry about it. So I can do like a shell-ish level. Not like shell drums, but like a long train of shells. There are levels like this. So for example, right? This is an example of you need things to spawn consistently. But since it'll be all on the first screen, it'll all spawn at the same time. I forget how this is gonna work. I'm just gonna play around with this for a bit. I'll figure this out. Don't worry. Yeah, that works. And the idea is like, you do a bunch of stuff and you need to catch up to that one. Because you go faster than it, right? We may make you start in front of it. I don't know, I'll figure that out. We're also going to do a little bit of some trolling, alright? You, you want to see a little troll? How do I do this? I think I need a cannon blaster for this one. The last one's going to be a, sh a shell that you can ride. And you think it bounce off of it, but you actually just jump. I have to time this. Oh, it goes faster, I think. Oh, I think I know how to make it the same speed. Boom! It's the same speed now. I'll probably do... Okay, so we'll do. We're gonna do this all off screen. We're gonna make you go ahead of it. So we'll do like, I don't know. Just put this here for now. Which means the screen scroll is gonna break. And I might just not use that. But let's just do this for now. Actually, I have to leave space for the dev pipe. I mean, the, the DLC content. Totally not a dev pipe. I wonder if I've always made the pipe blue for these. But I'm gonna make it blue. So we'll have that there. And then we'll just do this real quick. Let's move this down. Let's do this. So for things to shoot out of a launcher, they have to be on screen. And you have to be... And the side of the launcher has to be not blocked that you're on. And since I need this all to work... At the same time, I'm gonna have the launcher shoot to the left. So rip the screen scroll, whatever. That's how it'd be. Which I guess, just do this. Yo, right down the middle, take that. Efficiency. I think I might do this in the, actually, I guess I'll do six for now. Cause I actually wanna do, uh, I mentioned this before, my, my low design formula, but I like to mix things up with the idea. So here's the idea, you like catch up with the shells. The second part, I wanna throw in a spiny shell. All right, you throw in a spiny shell, you have to spin them off of it and do stuff instead. So I might not do this yet, because the troll is going to be the last part. So we'll just leave that bullet the launcher out for now. Let's just see what this looks like. Very good. Nothing happened. Ah, yes, I blocked off the springboard. Very good. <laughs> so we do from the beginning. Now you should see some shells falling down. There they go. So you're going to be ahead of them. The other thing is, uh, this is going to be it probably brought up a lot in the fact that you can ring or you can wear a shelmet i'll worry about that cheese later okay one solution is to do a clear condo damage but then i can't put a checkpoint i gotta figure out when i put a checkpoint but we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it later okay i definitely have to slow that down a little because you almost don't even beat it so let's uh back it up 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 hopefully someone has at least seen that video so I'm not going to make you bounce off immediately because you can't see it. So we're going to wait until you can see like there's a trail of shells behind you. But in reverse, Terry. <laughs> okay, so we got to force you to hold right and not wait. So what we can do is just have a platform that's falling down like this. So you do it. Okay, well, I got to make it yellow because it'll move when it's yellow. 
Okay, so perfect. So do something like that. We'll make you bounce off something. Let's do that first. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's make you land on a mole here. And then I'm also going to put an arrow. Because I don't want you to land on that first one yet. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit with the arrow. That means you keep you keep moving, dude. You're not backing up. You're, you're going forward. Okay. So this is where the visual cue is going to be kind of important. We're going to put a nice little pee block. Wherever you need to actually bounce off the shell. Yeah, let's do something like that. We'll have... Just do a, a falling platform for now. Just a regular one. Just, just a little regular one. And we'll do this. So this will allow the shell to catch up a little. So you bounce off like right here. Alright, nice gain so far. Huge, big fan. I'm gonna another little sneak block here. And with the sneak block. Um Mild nerf. So do that for now. We'll put a saw right here actually. Like right here. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, alright, there is potential here. Let me do that actually. And then we'll put a nice little cloud block. Cloud cloud block. Oh wow, they got the same speed? I didn't know that. Let's put the sneak block over here. Let's be like, nah, dude. We're gonna do something like that for now. Just gonna put a thwomp here for now, just to see what that looks like. At this rate, this is like, a little too easy, but we'll, we'll just go along with this for now. It might be an easier level. I also want to add some slopes. I'm going to see a little slope action here. Boom. I almost want to separate a little further. What does this look like? Okay, they separate a little further now. Just like a smidge. I'm going to move it over one higher. Do like that. And then we'll actually do... Actually, no, we we'll do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna want you to catch up to the shell, kind of. Yeah, do that. We'll have the blocks be off. I'm gonna be careful though. I don't want it to get mur I don't want the shell to get murdered. So I'll do like that. Okay, we'll move it up one. I guess. If I made a stack, dude. Nice little stackeries. Oh, hello. Let's make the sneak block go up. I'll do that. I can do this. See what it looks like real quick. Come back, Shell. I need you. I need you to love me. Alright, you'll catch up to that eventually. I need to catch up to like right there. I'm gonna have more slopage, man. I gotta put the MX plus B in here. I have to make you do one more bounce before you get to the shell, which is fine. I do I need I do need to put this here, by the way. It's like that. Actually, it will entice you. Put a 10 coin right here. Boom. There you go. Oh, you got it prematurely. That's actually not what we want, dude. You don't want the prem we're just gonna put a coin. I'm sorry, fans. Boom. I mean you could you could see it. Do I really need a coin? Probably the only need coin you couldn't see it, but it's like right there. I also need to use the sneak block again. I'll make it go the distance, just for now. What happened? I did not pay attention. Why did, uh... Wait, why did it not make it? Why are there only four? Oh, I think it despawned. Yeah, it despawned it, okay. So that means we do a little, uh, that. And now, you shouldn't be able to despawn it. Alright, perfect. We're back in... Yeah, so I'm not gonna make you bounce off it. I'm gonna make you bounce off it, like, right here. And then we're gonna make you get back on the sneak book for some reason. We're gonna put a bum bum. <laughs> 
He's throwing a random bum bum. How you doing? No, you murdered. Okay, fine. Nope, nope, no bum bum. We'll make something flying. Like a bob bomb. Multi purpose use bob bomb. If I bounce off it once, does it go to regular? It does. Interesting sound. We can use a parachute. Nice. That works. So I'm gonna add another mechanism here, but now you're gonna throw in a little spiny shell. You're not gonna expect it. I have to make these spawn at the same time. It's gonna be a little, a little tricky though. Why don't I put. Let me just see what this looks like. I think it's not consistent because they go left and right. Let me just see. Yeah, so that's the downside. And I got the spiky boy. Throw it up, mix it up a little. I can also make them different distances. They don't have to be equidistant. I'm gonna do this for now. This part, I'm probably gonna have to change a bit though. I might make it bounce back, honestly. I'm gonna hit this with a nerf. That nerfs me. You don't like the nerfs. Or maybe you do, I don't know. We're gonna hit you with the left arrow, dude. Right here. Why are we going back? Because we're going back on the Snoop Brook. And then we're going to do things. I don't know. Ah! Probably change some things up here. The Snoop Brook is a little too slow, unfortunately. I might get rid of the Snoop Brook part. Because it goes too slow. Maybe for now, I'm just going to say no mega lol the Snoop Brook. And just treat it like an obstacle, honestly. I'm going to do this as well. Anyways, let's do this. Whoops. That's too easy, though. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave that. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna do a thwomp that does this. I just wanna see what this looks like. And I'm gonna make you Z on the ball bomb. I guess we'll just put indicators on a lot of things. Okay, I definitely threw that over, whatever. I think I'm gonna make that muncher or that bomb have a muncher hat instead of a. Okay, we definitely have to. Move this down. Yeah, I'm gonna have him have a muncher hat. There you go. Take your hat, buddy. Maybe we'll have a like a spike ceiling so you can't do a full jump. Let's move it up one. All right, now it's getting harder, which is good. There's like a little leeway where you bounce off of it. These guys, I'll probably indicate. I want to indicate at the very least the shells that you bounce off of. Why is there two? What the hell? It's time for me to trash this level and just uh, quit level making. Apparently, this is not, not working. Oh, wait, there's supposed to be five the entire time. <laughs> okay, well, we don't need that guy. I'm only using four. How come I never noticed that? Thwomp momentum is terrible, so I might have to not use the thwomp there. So I want to use the bob bomb again, which means I might have to not have the thwomp there, yeah. I have another solution, but I'm not going to do it yet. Actually, what we're just going to do now. Goodbye, thwomp. No one likes you, thwomp. I'm just kidding. I'm going to bring out the old question mark brook into on a brook combo here with the spike Vegeta. Where, where are you? So now I can actually bring this back that I got rid of. And then we'll start the second train here. Let's see what this looks like. Come back! I need to love you! I'll put a big Z there. I mean, that kind of works. It's kind of what I want to happen. I need the bob on to explode, like, just, like, half a second later. But if not, then I can make this work. I should probably make this lenient, so... We'll do like that. Maybe I should put a coin there for the fans. I don't know. Kind of spoiling the fans, honestly. I'm gonna give it a slight buff. So I need to leave some room for the uh, shell train, so I'll do this. Because after this part, the shell's gonna drop from here, so I guess we'll do this. Yeah, it'll drop from there. Oh, we had some speed there. Wait a minute. That's what we like to see, actually. I gotta be very lenient for this part, though. Like, super lenient. Like, have on-off blocks just like that. <laughs> And then once we get that to work, we can move on to the shell part too. And do I nerf that? I might have to. 
I only moved it over because I wanted to make it symmetrical. <laughs> but we might have to say a ripped symmetry. Also, we'll put another coin here for the fanage. Boom! Alright, I think we definitely have to nerf this. That's how it be. Okay, that has, for the most part, worked how I wanted it to. All right, now that we got that to work, we gotta get the shell train to, to commence. How far are we? One, two, three, four. All right, this is good pace. We're about halfway through this level, but now I gotta figure out this. So we're actually saw with a little spiky boy. Let's go, uh, let's do this. Let me see what this looks like. Here we go. Actually, that works. We do this. The third one won't line up properly. I just want to see what this looks like, though. Here we go. Okay, well, good start. Yep, I love it. Here we go. All right, a little, li a little later. Just like a smidge, you know? This is a little janky, but I mean, it'll kind of work. <laughs> That's all that really matters is it works. Well, it's not janky like the setup is, it's janky how I had to set it up. Does that make sense? The setup is not janky, but the way I set it up is a little, a little <laughs> You don't get to see, you don't, you don't get to see any of this, which is fine. As long as you, it works, you right? Actually, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll do spiky boy, helmet, helmet, spiky boy. We'll do that. So I think anything more than four it despawns. Here we go. Actually, that kind of worked. You guys are going the wrong way! <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, perfect. The cloud fell on the Z... Wait, what did it actually? Alright, we'll, we'll do this. The clouds are trapped in purgatory. There you go. Sorry, they won't be they won't be hurt by the decolons, alright? They're fine there. Heck. Let me see. If it, like, almost always kills it, then that's fine. I need, I need to make sure it's, like, consistently killing it, you know? Perfect. So let me smooth this over. Again, this should be consistent because you're holding... First of all, these these all spawn at the exact same time. And then number two, this part you're holding right the entire time. So I think it spawns, like, around here. So if I move it to the right, it's gonna spawn, like, the same amount of time away. That, that probably didn't make sense, but trust me. I'm an expert. Just kidding, I'm not an expert. I just make janky levels. Perfect. Beautiful. It's pretty rough. We finally got to work. We'll have to do uh, deep cheesing later, though. I just need to make sure that all four shells were there, also. And they all make it through the block. If it doesn't make it through the block, we have to make adjustments. But I'm pretty sure they should make it through the term block. Okay, we're making, we're making a little bit of some issues. We gotta slow it down again. I don't think that turn rot's gonna last long enough, but we have backup strats, so it's fine. One, two, yeah, it didn't last long enough. That's fine. Backup strat, you, you gotta use a piranha plant. How's it? It goes, is it muncher on top of the piranha plant? I think that's what it was. What am I doing? What am I doing? They all spawned at least, kind of. They all made it. I'm trying to go fast so I can see if I could, can despawn it. Obviously I don't want it to happen, but I want to see if I can. That's like the goal. Because if I can't despawn it, then we'll be in good shape. If I can, then I might just have to use three instead of four. I got to use four here instead of five. Oh, they're all there. Let's go put a spring reaver now. Just... I don't know. Figure out something. Kinda want these to spawn earlier. See, I need this guy to spawn slightly earlier. So I actually might do this. Can we big brain this. It's so hard to place things. Like, god dang. Here we go. Too close together. Why is this such a difficult thing to time? Oh, we're so close to something that's, like, good enough. Here we go. 
Oh, we like to call that the good enough right there. Ho ho! So I guess we can do like this. That way you don't just go from here to here. I don't think you can. Let me just try to do that real quick. Yeah, you're not. Also, I need to make this cloud block. Stay safe, all right? That cloud block was about to go and uh, not be safe. Now he's safe here. here we go. You're safe over there. Okay, this is this is a good attempt right here. Beautiful. All right. You're not doing a mid air. I just wanted to do that just to see. Actually, I might instead of doing two two spiky shells, I might just make some other some other shell mitt instead. Now make you bounce off this guy first, probably. So then we'll do, uh, yeah. Actually, I also need to put an indicator right here. Thing is, I don't want you to jump too high, because then you can't see the these. So maybe I'll make you, like, land, like, here. And do this. That way you're not being able to see that. So that'd be good. If I just make you do a meter. <laughs> Hopefully the spiny shell won't despawn. It's really far ahead. The shell is a zoomer. I hope that shell doesn't despawn. I might have to bring out the skull block, dude. The skull block time, dudes. Get, get some momentum back. We bounce off this shell. We're zooming! Okay, I need to see if it despawned. I don't know if it despawned. As long as that shells in despawn, we're, we're, we're good. Nice, it didn't despawn. Let's go. Although, now the skull block's gonna be in the way, so I might have to... Oh, I can reuse it, though. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can do some uh, reusing of shells. Or skull blocks. I guess we'll do... Uh, let me just do this for now. I guess we'll just bring out, we'll bring out the, the one-way into spike combination lock com combo here. Let me put this here. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, what the heck? He got murdered. I guess that could work. I don't necessarily need this. Uh, actually, I kind of want to keep this here if it lines up somewhere. Now I'm kind of I'm a little curious, actually. And then guess what? You, you guys ready for this? That We gave you a 10. Now we're giving you a 30. Boom. So what I need is, I kind of want the shell to be a little more ahead, but it's not the end of the world if it's not. So we're going to do this, so it forces you to go underneath. Can I see these spikes? If I can see these spikes, we'll keep it. If I can't, we'll get rid of them. Can I see the spike? Can I see the spike? Can I see the spike? No. It's an Omega no. Let's get rid of this. Can I add a thwomp here? Is this going to work? Okay, all right. We're making some deaths here. Another coin for the fans right here. And we'll add indicators as well. There, that should help a little. Is it the most amount of coins I've put in a level for the fans? Now I'll put a Z. Gotta throw in the Z. I'm gonna move this over now. I'm curious as to see what this looks like. I'm gonna put some plomps here. So that way it'll help force you to just jump off. Not really force, but like make you instinctively want to jump off. Ah! Uh, that worked. Hmm, that worked. Hmm. Gotta do it again though. Maybe throw in a Meowser. All right, if I can do this again and it lines up perfectly, then there we go. All right, so we gotta push this forward. All right, I'll figure out what I want to do from here, but that uh, that seems to work. So that's pretty good. How much more do we have in terms of the length? One, two, three. So we're about 70% done. So I use each block, there's 10 of these. So 70% are here and I try to use the entire length. 30 more percent, so we should finish soon. Yeah, dude, we're zooming. I'm trying to be a, a zoomer when it comes to making levels. I want to be efficient. 
All right, on the day two of editing the level or making the level. Also, I forgot to set this to 500. I should do that. Let's extend this. And I think I want to put one more mini like shell ish train here. So let's copy paste this over. Good thing we already made this janky setup because we can just copy paste it. And I got to make sure I know when it spawns exactly. I want it to spawn like right here when you're right here because that's when you are holding right. So you always spawn it at roughly the same time when you get here. So I'm going to do that real quick. So we'll make a little test area and then we'll see when it spawns. Here we go. I think one more. One more. One more. One more. One more. It'll spawn eventually. So I'm right here. And when it spawns. So I'm going to push this over 11-ish. It's so like right there. And it should spawn when I'm like, when I go to this ledge right here. So it'll spawn when I'm right here. Perfect. Cool. All right. Now we can just add the little mechanism again with the, not really mechanism, the these guys. And then we're going to see what the timing looks like. I also need to make sure it falls down. Perfect. Okay. I might not make you spin it back on the spiny though. We'll see. Or the spiky shot. I might make you do something else instead of that guy. They will nerf it. Slight little nerf. And then we'll, I guess, instead of spin jumping off the spiny shell, we'll do this. This probably gives you time to react. And then you'll bounce off a, I guess we'll do like a spike top, sure. So the spiny should murder the bottom one. I just want to see what this looks like now. Oh, that's great. I killed both of them. All right. <laughs> let's do this. Kind of lower this one. I think let's do that. Sure. Now we can actually see the shell fully. Why are you murdering them so... Okay, you know what? There's no way you murder these guys. All right. There's no way. So this is good. Now you can see. So now I'm going to actually... Get rid of some, actually, this slope will stay. This one will, will be no more. Sorry, slope. So do that. I'm throw a little, little left arrow too. I don't know, a right arrow. Perfect. Now I can see everything. Oh, you murdered it. It's actually perfect. Let's go. I guess what I can make you do is make an on-off block state swap. So that way the shell goes back. And it needs to be in the on position so perfect well actually let's think about this yeah i need the shovel bounce back at the same time i, I need the, the koopa shell or the, the these shells to fall not the right time so i might just do a one-way gate to make it easier or i could do this instead and then make this blue and we'll have an on off gate like right here and we'll just see what this looks like. So I don't know if this timing is going to line up. If it lines up, I'm going to pop off. If it doesn't, well, let's make adjustments. And then we'll extend this for a bit. All right, now I need the school block to... Uh, to <laughs> well, I guess I make you bounce, jump off the school block. And on off block. That might work, actually. And I need to know, I need to do this, so that way you have to go underneath the school block and you can't just ride it. So I'll do that. I kind of want these shells to collide into each other, so that way there's no more spiky shell. And then it's just three of these guys. And hopefully this lines up. I guess let's see what it looks like if I go straight from the spiny shell to back to the school block. Do something like that, maybe. And at this point, the snake, the snake block will go on its way and just be gone. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, we're making some progress here. And then again, we gotta throw in the coins to entice the fans to collect it. I'm out. I'm at my limit, dude. Too many coins. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. This one's gotta go. Don't worry, we still have one left for a 50. All right, I actually do want to add a fire bar again. I think I figured out a good way to utilize it correctly. So again, the only reason I use fire bars is to help the player kind of figure out where they need to go. So we put one right here and this should help to force the player realize that they got to go back. I even put an arrow there for extra, but we're going to put this here. I might have to play around the timing, but it's going to go like clockwise. And then at the same time, you need to go back. It'll be the perfect amount of uh, fire so that you have to be right here when in order to avoid it. So that'll be the goal. Okay. 
do like, uh, I don't know. Try that. All right, there you go. That's perfect. And you can like see the fire bar too from like when you're back here. So that'll definitely help you realize that you need to go back. Oh, wow, that worked. That fire bar actually amazing a little bit. Now the rest of this level, is it gonna work? I mean, yeah, I can probably move this over and then the thwomp part, uh, I'm gonna just do a, a wall instead of the thwomp. I mean, just like a spike wall or something. I missed, dude. How can I miss? Do I nerf it? I nerf it. Only because momentum in this game is awful, so we're nerfing it. There you go, you have two walks you can hit. Let me do this instead, actually. Hit it with the spike block combo. Or, uh, spike block in the bo in the Spike ball in the block, dude. <laughs> I don't know why I talk like this. I blame Ray's. He's the one that kept saying block. Now I do it. Everyday men's on the block. Okay, so that's to be. This has to be on. There we go. Big shock! And that's perfect because this gives you enough time to react to the weird momentum. Like, you see how I get stopped immediately? I, I, I'm promising I'm holding left the entire time. So that's, that's, that's perfect. I want to see what this looks like. I forget if you can stat pokies on Mudrix. I'm pretty sure you can't. But it's not the end of the world because I'm going to just put you on a- put him on an island. This a little island. So the idea here is you need to murder- or the, the- the train needs to murder enough of the pokey so they can go underneath it. How many does it need to murder? They have to get down to here at the very least. Here, you can do it, but here ideally. So it had to be murdered four times. Actually, if I do that, then I can actually have this be another spiky boy. And now it's- ah, oh, it's snowing. They're all spiky boys. Let's go. And the last one will be a regular shell. See, this is the mix I'm talking about. And then the other thing is they're going to bounce back and murder each other, which is perfect because I don't want there to be four spiky boys. So this is the mechanism to make it bounce back. So the first shell will bounce back, kill the second spiny shell, and then these two will murder each other. And then this shell will be here. Calculated. So I can do that, and then you'll see. All right. Well, actually, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. That works. <laughs> what if I just make the last one a spiny shell, honestly? I mean, that. I guess that's what I want. Well, sure, I'll make that what I want. <laughs> I don't freaking know. I don't know if I need a Z here, because you can already see it's a spiny shell. I need to get back on. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to Z it. We're going to do a little... We're going to hit you with the five. Hopefully they, they understand you had to do this five times. Just like bounce. I'm gonna make it slightly easier. Put a saw there. That'll make it more lenient. I think that's fine. I'm gonna add a hidden slope. You won't even notice it, but it's there. Boom! It's right there. I have this idea in my head. I don't know if it'll look cool, but we'll just see what it looks like. I'm just gonna go the distance here. What will this look like? Okay, I'm starting to like this a little more. Before I was very skeptical. Skept skeptical. But now, now I'm digging it. Which is fine. But man, yeah. It's a tough one. Do something like that, maybe, because I like I like seeing the shell follow you. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, this is basically, and I'm just trying to figure out how I can fit a troll in, because I want I wanted to use that bullet bill launcher shellmet troll, but I don't know if I can get that to line up. I guess I'll just put it here and see if I can get it to work somewhere. I'm not doing the coin block last shum troll. See, you always gotta think of innovative trolling, all right? Coin block is a classic, but the the shellmet that appears to be a shellmet, but you actually have to press jump and not hold jump. Control because it goes to the theme of the level. Same with like putting a spring behind the goal, you know? You gotta, you gotta do some, some cool trolls. This one's been done before, but it fits the theme. The problem is, when is this thing even gonna spawn? I don't know how long it takes for it to spawn. So if I'm just like holding right here, it does spawn. The other funny part about this is if you are a close observer, 
while you're doing this bomb surf, you can actually, well, you have to see the shell come out of the bullet bill launcher because it has to be on screen for it to shoot. So you'll see it literally shoot the shell and you'll know that it's that type of shell, but 99% of the people probably won't notice it. And it's gonna be great. Now I just need to figure out how to get this to shoot the same speed. And that's it, that's it, the springboard and then bounce off. I'm just gonna just put this here, like right here, I guess. Right on top of the bubble. And I'm going to see where the shell is respect to respect of the spiny shell. The funny part about this level is I'm basically gonna beat it like five times already by the time I have to upload it, because I'm always playing from the beginning of the level. Because it's kinda hard to start from the middle. That's why I can't really put a practice store. I have to get the, the things to line up properly. The cycles I messed up. So it's like right behind it. That's actually perfect. I'm not gonna make you bomb surf. What was I? My English there. I'm not gonna make you bomb surf the entire rest of the way. I might do it to like here, and then the bomb will prematurely explode or do something. The beast is gonna play the soul, and I have a feeling he will realize that it's a shaman that you ride behind him. I think he's gonna be big brain enough to realize that mid mid level. Is this guy gonna shoot fire? He is, but it's blocked. This guy is shooting empty bullets, man. All right, so what you're gonna do is you go bounce and you go boom, bang, bop, big. This has to be, is this gonna be on or off? On. And then you bounce off the spiny shell to almost victory, almost victory. You're like a hair away from victory. Do this for now, and then we'll uh, make some modifications. We're also gonna help you a little with some arrows. Here's a nice little, little nice little arrow to make sure you keep going. Oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> um, let's, let's do that. Can I get away with three bounces? Bounce three bounces off the ball bomb. One, two, three. Oh, there's no shot. Okay, yeah, I do four. Can I can I hit him with a four here? That does not look like a four. They all drawn in blocks. Four. Right on top of the bob bomb too. There's a four there, right? You see that four? It's a four. Bro, okay, that's kind of wait, wait, wait. That's, that's... <laughs> oh my god. All right, so a little, a little off there. Hold on. Wait a minute. There we go. A little more lenient. What am I nerfing Andy here? I guess I am. There we go. Something like that. I'll probably have to do indication. So one here, one here, and one here. One, two, three, four. I think that's good. And then also, for some reason, if you want to do... I don't know how someone would cheese this. This is kind of like... Like, even if you put on a shelmet, you still have to murder these... You still have to, like, get the on-off block st states to switch. Uh, how are you gonna do that? Here, we'll put the THX now, all right. Be fancy with it, a little sideways, too. Like, a little diagonal downwards. And then I need to put the pipe at the end. That doesn't actually lead anywhere. But they'll think that it leads somewhere. There, there's a... You can see, like, the little nub of the pipe. The little, the little thing. What is that pipe? That's actually just nothing. Literally nothing. You know what, this is, this is gonna be half a troll, just half the, whatever, alright. Technically, if you really want, if you mess up the bomb part, you can land back on here and see that's not actually a shell you bounce off of. We're just gonna keep it, alright? Whatever. Let me try this again, hold on. When in doubt, put a fire bar. <laughs> I'm gonna put a fire bar. So, so the, the bad news is I have to figure out the timing for this. I can't figure which direction I want it to be. I guess I think I want it to be counterclockwise. So this will force you to go back onto the blue shell. And now the fun part is I'm pretty sure these are in global timer still, so we can do this from the beginning. Yay! Yay! I mean that's not a big deal. I, I do it from the beginning anyways. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm literally gonna beat this all like five times before I upload it, <laughs> like start to finish. Also, oh, wait, wait, I I forgot the most important part, dude. The f the fans. Fifty. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I guess I'll put it right here. There you go. Now let's do it from the beginning. While I'm doing this, I do kind of have an idea of 
the dev route. Let's make it like a really dumb shelmet ride. All right, so it was here, roughly. So I need to rotate it about, or I guess I, I move it back a little. So it'll be like here. The five at play would be to figure out the timer, what time I got there, and then I just let this run until I get to that time. 466. So I need to, at 465, I need it to be right here. Like basically right here, 465. So it's 65. It's like right here at 65. Now we do it from the beginning and hopefully it looks uh looks good. Yeah, this is a short level. Usually my, I try to make my levels 40 seconds start to finish. Actually, I don't want it to be a minute start to finish, but this one's close to 30 something, which I guess is fine. I think 30, 35 seconds is not, not bad. At least we use the entire length, man. Well, <laughs> time to upload. Well, not really. I have to make the dev out. Oh, I kind of want to nerf it, though. I'm not going to lie. I do want to nerf it just the hair. No, it's, it's a little nerf. I'll put this here, though. That last jump's tough, man. Look, look, at, look at where I am. You see that? I barely cut it. We're giving it, we're giving it a slight nerf, all right? I'm, I'm being a little softy. I'll put a smiley cloud block here, right? He's smiling at you. And if you if you land on it, we'll give you a yay sound effect. Do I even have that here? Actually, no, we'll give you a piggy. There. A little piggy. There you go. We have a small nerf. Well, we beat the level, so now uh, we have to do it again. After I do the dev route. So here's your homie one-ups, by the way. And then we'll have to do a little bit of de-cheesing. But like, even if you put a shaman on here, let me just do that. How on earth are you gonna beat the rest of the soul? Like, how, how do you actually just do this with a shaman? That, I'll be probably more impressed if you can do cheeses. The thing is, if you get to, if you somehow deboost all the way to here, all right, let me just simulate. So we deboost to here, all right? I'm, you know what? I'd, if you cheese it, whatever, I'll re-upload it. All right, it's not too bad. I had to reload my other level anyways. All right, whatever. We're making the dev route. Here we go. Okay. I'm not putting a clear con because those are annoying. You literally have to stare at the don't take damage every time you restart, and we're not doing that, so... Dev route time. We're gonna make you ride a uh, shelmet for, I don't know, how long? A very long time. Alright, this is about to be really dumb, but we love dumb things, right? You guys ready? So first I gotta make sure I have enough time to land on it. No, this is not- Alright, for those that actually don't know... No, this is not an actual dev route. What happens is you get to the end and nothing happens. There will be a pipe here and it'll give you piggy sound effects, I guess. Like, it'll, it'll just be a pipe right here and it literally is not enterable. Usually, I don't even test to see if this is possible. Well, I test to see if, if it's theoretically possible. I don't know if you... I don't test to see if you have enough time. I give you the max limit, which is 500 seconds. But I guess it's your choice to figure out if you want to see if it's possible. <laughs> Which is usually the beast's job. That's what the beast does. So have fun, the beast. You'll give it like one try and give up though. It's, it's fine. All right, so we'll do something like this. I want. I just want to see if we can jump to the other one. But I think you have to like. Am I about to be lenient and do this? Am I softy now? Or mean a softy? I think we'll just do that. How high can the ceiling be? I guess. Can we make it this high? I'm gonna make it one higher. Maybe I do spin jumps. All right, that's perfect. So now we just literally copy paste this until I run out of space. And no, you can't damage boost because you only get one shell. Admit. I guess the pipe would have to be on this side. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll put the pipe here and we'll put the piggy. That's your reward for getting here. Nice piggy. Pipe doesn't actually leave anymore. Do you actually have to do some insane claw tech for copy pasting? Believe it or not. There we go. That should be it, right? Just make sure it goes back and forth. So you go, you go this way. Yep, perfect. Then you go down. You go down. And you go down. All right, have fun. I'm not. <laughs> we're not even gonna bother playing that anymore. They'll probably run out of time. I gotta find the thumbnail shot too. The pokey with a five and the fifth thirty. I found it. I'm not one to make like thumbnail pixel art stuff. But I think this is a good good uh, spot right here. Wait, I don't have a level named that, right? Yeah, no, I don't have one with... I have Skyway Shell and Shella Easy. I think that's it. All right, and now we got to come with the description. What do my other descriptions say? Practice section. 
Well, I'm in the practice stores. Well, sorry, no practice stores. <laughs> no practice stores. I'm gonna hit with a frowny. And there's also lots of control jumps. If you know what a control jump means, that's just when you don't hold jump the entire time. So you have to like time it yourself. I'm not sure we even that many. I can also write pokey equals five. I'm gonna say pokey part says five. Just to be extra clear, dude. Oh, it's in the thumbnail. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm so smart. Yeah, there you go. See? That's five. All right, anyways. So now let's make a backup and then I'll upload. Remember, we're just gonna make a backup because for whatever reason, if the level gets deleted, taken down, whatever, we can just re upload it. So there we go. There's our backup. Final time check, 5 hours, 21 minutes to make this all. And now we upload and hopefully it takes us less than 5 minutes. I've literally already been it once, so it shouldn't take that long. Alright, here we go. First try or bust. Okay, so far so good. Oh, I forgot to mention no bonks. Bonks are bad. I guess you kind of get that. Oh yeah, that's first try. Nice. I one shot my own level. <laughs> Not too bad. That's good though. If I need to like re-upload it for cheese or something, then oh, now I can add no bonks. <laughs> no bonks. Actually, no. Whatever. We'll just... Whatever. Uh... I mean, this is a shorter one of my levels, so it's like technical and short and sweet. Technically, you can change my tags. I should probably turn it off. And then just for kicks, let me just do the... We'll, we'll attempt to do the dev route once. But yeah, here we go. Our newest level. What's this? 0.06%? Hopefully this one will be higher than 0.06. I wonder if Shun is watching. Because Shun, like, always gets the first clear of my levels, which is fine, but I'm just curious. But he also is taking a break, I think. Alright, here we go. No, I died. Okay, I'm not, I'm not doing it, alright? <laughs> there you go. Wait, I see you go here, first clear Shun. It's funny, he got the first clear in this version too. Because I had to re-upload it for cheese. He got the first clear again on both. And he beat it in four tries, so the so the clear was actually 25% when he beat it. Here it is thumb. Oh, understandable. Well, hopefully he has fun playing this level. Same with anyone else, let's play this. Hey, already three deaths. Let's go. Who's gonna get the first clear? It's a race now. Yeah, there we go. Hit up a Panga Shell ride. First level we made in two months. And we'll continue to make levels once I feel motivated to. Again, making making levels is hard. It's really hard. Making good levels. But we'll, we'll, we'll do it whenever I get ideas and stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching.